Catalan opening, closed, 4, DXC45.NF3A66.00NC6. Sudden a close game that was lost by a mistake. White really outplayed black in that one. The opening was balanced. White pounced on their opportunities in the middle game. Opening with the queen's pawn. The Indian game begins by controlling the important e4 square with the knight, rather than a pawn. By taking control of the crucial d5 square and creating a space on which the knight can move to c3 without obstructing the c-pawn, move c4 helps to create a strong center. The move e6 creates a line for the dark squared bishop, sets up a rapid castle, and prepares to push a pawn to d5 and recover the piece if it is taken. The Catalan opening is a slower, more positional opening where white prepares to fianchetto the light squared bishop on g2, where it will help control the center. The pawn on e4 is under attack as d5 occupies space in the middle. Fianchetto move bg2 places the bishop on the long diagonal. Dxc4 captures the gambit pawn and opens up the center. Nf3 develops the knight toward the center, supports the d4 pawn and prepares castling. The d4 pawn is attacked as the knight advances toward the center on move nc6. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling king side tends to be safer because the king is further from the center. Games master. It is the final book action. By growing a bishop from its initial square, this activates it. That's good. This overlooks a better way to develop a bishop off its starting square. It is an inaccuracy. This overlooks a better way to develop a knight off its starting square. It is an inaccuracy. This defends the attacked pawn. It is best. This can indicate that a knight was attacked. It is incorrect. Only one move worked there, and this wasn't it. This ignores an opportunity to develop a rook off its starting square. It is a miss. This misses an opportunity to offer an equal trade of pieces. This allows the opponent to kick a bishop. It is an inaccuracy. There was only one good move there. This ignores a better way to block an attack on a vulnerable queen. It is a mistake. This is an equal trade. It is best. Recaptures. It is ideal. The knight can now control more squares as a result. This poses a threat to an outpost manned by a knight. That's good. Castling develops a rook, while also moving the king to safety. Castling to the same side of the board as the opponent tends to lead to less sharp positions as compared with opposite side castling. It is best. The knight now occupies an outpost, a secure square in the opponent's territory. This threatens to reveal an attack on a pawn. It is best. That's an unfortunate error. It is a mistake. This was a turn of the game move that put white in the lead. It is a wise decision. Material is lost as a result of this. It is incorrect. This develops a rook off its starting square, getting it into the action. This is the only good move. It is best. Backs off. It is ideal. That bishop was free. It is ideal. This attacks a knight and gains a tempo when the knight retreats. It is ideal. This exposes a knight assault. It is ideal. The knight is now sufficiently protected. It is quite good. While not a mistake, that is also not the wisest course of action. That's good. Recaptures. It is ideal. Takes back. It is best. Sudden a close game that was lost by a mistake. White really outplayed black in that one. The opening was balanced. White pounced on their opportunities in the middle game.